Good morning, this is TCR, TroyCommunityRadio.com. I'm Clint Myers on 1071 WTJN for David Denoyer on TCTV. This is the Mayor's Report, but we're going to put a little twist to it this morning. Joining us is Tom Funderburg and Jerry Mullins, and we're going to talk about uh, the Festival of Nations. How are you doing this morning, Tom? Pretty good, Clint. Thanks for having us in this morning. Absolutely. Now, uh, Festival of Nations is... It, it seems like it's still a little ways off, but it's going to come up quick. You know, this is uh, it's an organization that really the uh, mayors and the previous mayors have put together in order to try to bring people together within the city and celebrate the culture and the diversity which is within the city of Troy. So it's hard to believe we've been doing this 23 years, and as you said, it's coming up on August 20th. Uh, less than a month away and uh, hopefully people are looking forward to coming out on the levee on that afternoon. It's always a good time out on the levee. Uh, it's something for the entire family and it's great to learn about other cultures at the same time. It's amazing how many cultures make up our community and uh, it's just a chance to celebrate that, to recognize the differences, but really at the end of the day I always like to look at it as to realize how similar we really are. Truly, and, and when we, we are. come together, it's, I mean, we all enjoy the food and music and dance, and no matter what culture you're in, we all seem to appreciate that, and we get a chance to uh, recognize that on that Saturday. Now, what time does the Festival of Nations kick off? Starts at uh, 2 o'clock, and it starts with a parade of nations, and we'll have uh, close to 20 different countries represented this, this year again, and the parade uh, winds its way along the levee, and then each country that's represented makes its way up onto the stage to present their own individual country's flag. So a very proud day. Uh, people are many times dressed in costume. They bring children dressed in costume, so it's very colorful. Uh, there's music, there's entertainment throughout the day. And a taste of all the cultures, too. That's probably the most enjoyable part, is, is the food. Many of the uh, delegates there bring uh, cooking, you know, home cooking from their own particular countries. People love that. In fact, last year I think we sold out. It was so popular. <laughs> uh, this year's featured country is France. It is, and I think people are looking forward to that. Um, we sampled uh, quite a bit of food the other day with them, and I know she's she's looking forward uh, to to being proud and, and present her own uh, country. Uh, we've got some. We've got a few other acts coming in from different countries. We've got Can Can dancers that'll help represent the French culture. They are high energy, very energetic, and, and they have a lot of fun up on stage. Excellent. Uh, you, you brought some entertainment today as well. <laughs> Hard to believe, isn't it? That, uh, uh, but our very own Jerry Mullins, who happens to be the chairperson of, of this year's event, so I, I can't go any further without recognizing the hard work and effort that Jerry has brought to bringing us all together this year. Jerry's been uh, part of the festival for six years now uh, as facilities manager. And really the behind the scenes uh, work that goes into putting this together is, is just kind of goes unnoticed because Jerry makes it seamless and uh, makes it look easy, which is the way we like to have it. But this year he stepped up and he's the chairperson. So he's in charge of bringing uh, all of us together and getting the, uh, the various delegations together for that day as well. Jerry, welcome to the program this morning. Thank you. Glad we've, to be here. We've had you on several times, but never before with your guitar. No, normally I'm on here talking about leaves and <laughs> special <laughs> trash pickup and things of that nature. So uh, we talked about possibly putting a song together because I write some songs for people when they're retiring with the city of Troy. Basically, it's an old roast. I try to get some information on them and write songs about them when they leave, give them a going away gift that way. And I thought, well, I'll try to do the same thing here for the Festival of Nations. And the song I've chosen kind of... Uh, highlights France since they're the uh, country so I'm going to speak a few foreign languages in this song and hopefully I can get through it without laughing or messing it up. <laughs> well and we'll try and be quiet. <laughs> oh that's okay. And, and we'll we'll let you do your thing. Okay well, I'll do that then. <laughs>
This year, France is the featured country city. We got mad and geeky's outrageous can can girls, mercy. Germany, Scotland, Poland, South Africa, Peru. Japan, Honduras, Argentina, and the Philippines, too. Raphael from Puerto Rico will do some singing for you. The Festival of Nations is on the levee. Now this year, France is a featured country to see. We got mad and beauties, outrageous can-can girls, mercy. There'll be food from many countries that you can enjoy. You can learn about different cultures right here in Troy. You'll see belly dancers live on stage. Oh boy! Well, the Festival of Nations is on the levee. Yeah, this year France is a featured country to see. We got Madame Gigi's outrageous can-can girls, mercy. Now Pete and Ruth Jenkins started this in 95. Yeah, Mayor Mike Beamish, he still keeps it alive. And now in true cultural fashion, I'd like to say goodbye. Adios. Ciao. Sayonara. I'll be the Zane. Don't seem. Arrivederci. And au revoir. Excellent, John. Say <laughs> Manifee. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. He's well, been studying, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, he yeah. has. It's just goodbye. Not that hard to learn, really. <laughs> YouTube's amazing. <laughs> so we got lots of things to look forward to at the Festival of Nations this year. Uh, coming up August 20th, you say it starts at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. 2 to 8 p.m. And uh, our featured country this year, France. Absolutely, and we really uh, can't uh, close this out today without thanking a few people. The, the committee definitely, uh, which Jerry's leading, and as he mentioned, Ruth Jenkins and the mayor and, and a few other folks who keep this, uh, this organization together. But this year we have had uh, some wonderful sponsors that stepped up and helped us from financially. Uh, obviously the city of Troy and the, the Troy Chamber, uh, the Troy Foundation, but then we had some other businesses come uh, to uh, participate as well. Culver's, uh, UVMC, Spinnaker Coating, Dr. Bentley, uh, Miami, Miami Acres, and uh, obviously Troy Ford have all come together to help uh, keep this thing alive for us today. And we couldn't do it without them. So we want to send thank you out to all of those people, and uh, hopefully they, uh, they'll all attend, and uh, we'll see them up there on the levee to be able to thank them in person. Great support from great businesses right here in our local area. It's what keeps it alive, Clint. Right? Absolutely. And Jerry, thank you so much for bringing your guitar this morning. That's great. You're welcome. Thank you. I enjoyed it. <laughs> this has been the Mayor's Report with Tom Thunderberg this morning and Jerry Mullins. We've been talking about the Festival of Nations. It's coming up August 20th. Make sure you put it on your calendar. I'm Clint Myers on TCR, TroyCommunityRadio.com for David Denoyer on TCTV. <laughs>